Hello, I am Ella Phyllis and I am a person who has come here to Humpting Stables and I have not lived here at all. My grandpa was once sick and he asked me if I could come over and help him because my mum and dad were too busy and then one day I was doing some chores around hunting stables and I really enjoyed hunting stables I wanted to continue living here so I went back home to pack my luggages and I have been living in Humpton Stables with my grandpa ever since and I have not found my dream horse yet. I've had so many leash horses or just trying out horses and I am very excited for today's horse that I'm going to be trying out. Today, I think, will be the day I find my horse. I'm not sure, but I haven't had one for a year after living at Humpton Stables, and I am desperate, and I really want to find the perfect horse for me, because none of the horses are the perfect horse for me, so today I am going to be trying to find one. I was very excited. I opened the door so quick and walked out. I headed to the stable and I was very excited as anyone could ever think. I didn't have a big house and a horse would be so much better to get out and stretch my legs. I really thought a horse could help me with so much. I told Joanna why I was here and told her that I'm here for my new leash horse. That I am here for my new leash horse. And she said it's in the barn. And I was very excited. I was hoping it was the horse for me. I wasn't sure which horse it was, but she said to go ahead and go with the black and white one or brown and white one i'm very sorry for my misspelling um joanna actually um told me that the breed would be a icelandic and i was okay with that because i used to have a horse at south hoof was an Icelandic and I was very excited to see that I would be meeting an Icelandic. It would also it's also very surprising as such a gentle horse I would be owning well leashing. I really thought too much of it and really wanted to own really want to own a horse so I decided to pet him he was the sweetest thing ever and I knew I just had to tack him up and take him out for a ride I wasn't I took some tack from the tack room with me and I went ahead and put some tack on I was setting it up, make sure, making sure it was fine and everything, making sure it was suitable and comfortable on the horse, and I then put the saddle pad on, and the sat, the saddle, the saddle on, making sure it was suitable again. 
I wanted to make sure I could get a horse today and make sure the horse liked me. The horse stayed perfectly still. I then decided I then decided I'd use my special bridle for him. I went ahead and tapped it around his neck while stringing the strings in and tying the halter part and making sure the reins fit perfectly. Then I decided to hop on. I thought I would take an easy on him and we just started snow. I wasn't sure if he liked me because I was starting slow, but you need to gain horses trust and get them out of certain behaviors, but he didn't try to book me off or anything, so I was very concerned for his health and if he had depression or not, so I decided to ask Joanna about this. I then was talking to Joanna about his weird actions. Yeah, so he's not like in behaviors where he's booking me off and stuff. So is he okay? Does he have depression or something? Joanna said that he is just a properly trained horse and his name was Leo. I loved riding Leo. He was so smooth and gentle. I thought I would take a little walk around the dressage arena. I was just going to trot there because we're still in town and I don't want to make a risk of running someone over. While I was trotting to the dressage arena, it was very empty and I felt like hunting stables was falling down a bit. I really didn't like the feel of how empty it was at night. I went to the dressage arena and practiced on the horse's gates. We tried to do a bit of dressage, but he wasn't too good at it. He reared multiple times, but then we were doing a trot and then he wanted to slow down. I was so confused, but then he did some weird trick. I was amazed by what this horse could do. This was the happiest day of my life. I never knew he was so talented. I lift my arms up in the air and let go of the bridle. He was so talented. I rubbed him on the neck. I loved him so much. He was talented and brave. Did I say talented again? I bet I bet I did. But he is. Look at that fast move he's doing. I was so confused. He wasn't under depression, but how is he doing this? No one has ever found out horses could do this. He then slowly went back to a trot and we carried on. I guess this question still remains. How did he do that amazing trick?